this is the first slide uh, of today. Uh, it's called the basic concept of information uh, information security. All right, so this is a four word. Um, information security is the, the process for ensuring safe data communication and preventing issues such as information leakage, modification, and also disruption. And this document will describe the uh, basic concepts and protection measurements of the information as well as information security risk and associated assessment and also avoidance uh, method. Okay, And uh, please do in mind this is actually the HCIA security uh, course. And uh, so um, some of the topics here will be uh, relevant uh, to our uh, examination. Okay, um, so let's look at the objective of this uh, th the the topic here. Um, so upon finishing this course, uh, we should be able to describe uh, the definition and the characteristics of the information security, and to explain the characteristics and also the differences of the different security models, and also to be able to differentiate between the uh, security risk okay right so we break it, this into two uh, topics information and information security and also information security risk and the management so first of all let's look at the uh, definition of information what is information um, according to the GMITS which is guidelines for the management of uh, IT security uh, under the uh, the ISO or the I IEC, uh, this uh, two organization. All right. So um, so this is the definition. So information created, uh, received, and maintained as an evidence and information by an organization of person in pursuit in precedence of legal obligation or in the transaction of the business okay so this is the information definition um, now as we know information can be in many types of uh, forms um, we could have information as in book or maybe in letters right so and also email okay I think everyone knows that email is uh, it's like every day we have tons of email all these are information and some of them are very important, some of them are very secretive, and maybe some of them are, are probably could involve in a legal issue, like for example, the email together with the uh, invoice and things like that. Uh, transaction data, so this is absolutely, absolutely important, right? So for example, banks, um, we have day-to-day -day transaction, right? So every transaction is, is about money, right? It's about people's money. Um, then we also have information about state uh, secrets, Okay, um, so this is actually uh, involved in uh, na national uh, s uh, security stuff. Uh, radar signal. Okay, this is also very important. So every day we receive so many signal from the uh, uh, from the uh, from the radar, maybe through satellites or maybe through any kinds of uh, wireless communication. Okay, and also uh, examination uh, examination question, test question. So these are also. Uh, some of the uh, information which is uh, you know, considered information. Right, so so once we understand that there's some, such a thing called information, so now we talk about what is information security. Now information security refers to the uh, uh, preservation of the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of the data through security technologies. Okay, so these are the, uh, some of the keywords. Uh, you can see here is something like CIA. <laughs> so this is not the American CIA. C stands for the confidentiality, I for integrity, and, and A for availability. Okay, so confidentiality is about um, the the uh, information which is uh, maybe some of the information which is uh, private and uh, secret. Um, and integrity is about uh, when we send information to uh, another party. Uh, the uh, information should should not be uh, tampered in between okay during the transaction um, availability is about uh, who can access who can access to the uh, information at what time okay and uh, these technologies includes uh, computer software and also hardware uh, network and and also some of the key technologies 
uh, organizational management measure throughout the information lifecycle, such as uh, generation, uh, the from from the moment we create the information, and through transmission, yeah, we pass the information to somebody, and then to exchange, okay, exchange information, uh, and also to process, okay, maybe through business intelligence, and also finally through the storage, okay. So we have also active storage and also the uh, uh, cold storage, archive storage. Uh, all these are very essential, okay, for uh, an organization. Um, <coughs> so the followings will be the, um, the effect if information access assets are damaged, okay. So for example, like uh, uh, the information, if it's not uh, secured uh, the proper way, um, it could be, you know, it could cause a national uh, security issue. Okay, um, so another thing is the system operating and continuous uh, development. Okay, so this is about the uh, uh, the operation. Okay, uh, and personal privacy and property are also be will be jeopardized. Okay, so if the uh, the information security are not taken well uh, properly. Um, so the aim of information security is to protect data against threats through technical means and effective uh, management so this is our the whole objective of uh, information security okay so is to protect okay all right so let's talk a bit on the uh, history all right so in the early days right so when we say early is like early up to the 19 uh, in the 19s earlys you know um, so during that time there's no such thing called computers or maybe Internet, don't even mention about internet, right? So uh, there's a very uh, limited uh, technology uh, being used uh, to secure the information or maybe uh, the very first uh, cryptography uh, technology being invented during those days. Um, and then after that, we uh, in the post 60s, okay? So we, we actually started the, uh, uh, the information security uh, stage. So this is the time where the internet uh, development brings to a new challenge and also the threats to information security. So in the past, information are stored as a, as in the paper, as in hard copy. So now information are, are, are gradually stored in the uh, as the digital form. Okay. So in in the 80s is actually the uh, 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 so the 60s is like is like the beginning, right? So in in the 80s is is like the uh, the age where uh, people will start aware about the importance about the digital information. Um, so, and you can see that during this time, the 80s uh, is the time where uh, people look very seriously into uh, implementing security in, uh, information in security. Okay, so this is the time where we slowly replace the traditional security. All right, so let's look at this gentleman. Okay, uh, so who is he? This gentleman is um, is one of the Chinese uh, gentlemen. His name is called Wang Jingxi. Okay, so why is he important? <laughs> okay, so uh, this is actually uh, to talk a bit on the history. Um, basically, a, a simple photo can also be uh, uh, and uh, we call it the information leakage. Okay. Um, so after the Chinese government uh, invited bids for oil production equipment, okay, so for oil production equipment, uh, Japanese intelligence experts they use this simple photo to uncover the following secrets of the Da Qing oil field. Okay, so this is actually, you know, the government is actually uh, opening up the tender to see who can uh, uh, produce, uh, who can uh, participate in, uh, to provide the. Uh, the equipment for the oil uh, production. So based on this symbol photo, um, the uh, Japanese, uh, the, uh, the intelligent, they, they can actually uh, easily tell, like for example, look at the clothing, uh, based on the clothing of this guy. Um, so it's, it's definitely this is a winter clothing and uh, they can actually locate this is a, a f about 48 to 46 to 48 degrees uh, towards the northeast eastern side of China and uh, so based on the simple information like this and also based on the uh, 
the the way how he he take uh, he handled the uh, this uh, equipment, and uh, they can actually tell you know uh, this is about uh, you know somewhere near the northeastern side. So so finally uh, the Japanese able to uh, uh, to 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 have a good uh, advantage you know by uh, by bidding uh, for the equipment. Okay. So. Um, so sometimes uh, information as simple as uh, just a, a photo uh, can be also uh, uh, to be uh, uh, somebody's advantage. Okay. Um, so next, we talk about the uh, communication secrecy stage. Okay. So in in the early uh, uh, in the early uh, 1900, okay, communication technologies were underdeveloped. Okay, and data were stored in different uh, location. Okay. So this is you know. Uh, when we when, when we talk about the data were uh, were stored in a different location, we are referring to the physical uh, data, right? Or maybe like letters and maybe a hard copy of information, or maybe some pictures uh, are stored in uh, in physical location. Okay, um, and information security uh, information system security was limited uh, to physical uh, security of information and cipher based uh, security communication. Okay. Uh, this is mainly stream cipher. Okay, uh, so this is uh, during maybe like uh, Second World War. You know, they have uh, they use a uh, different uh, uh, cryptography kind of uh, technology uh, to try to um, to avoid uh, the uh, the the signal that been transmit will be received by the enemies. Right, um, as long as information was uh, in a relatively secure place and Unauthorized uh, users were prohibited from accessing the information. Data security could be gener generally guaranteed. So this is actually in the past, right? So as long as uh, the uh, military or maybe the government uh, they hide some something in somewhere which is secret location, so general public cannot easily access. Then to them, this is considered uh, information secure, right? So now we talk about stage, yeah, stages, information security stage. Um, so this is actually the uh, the new era. Okay. So in in the nineties, okay, when internet become uh, develop rapidly, uh, everybody start using the uh, internet, and information leaks also inc uh, become uh, more frequent. You know, um, as a result, in addition to the confidentiality. Integrity and availability, information security now focus more on other kinds of principles and also objectives, such as controllability and non-repudiation. Okay, um, so let let's repeat this again. Uh, confidentiality is about information which is uh, towards um, the secret secrecy of the information. Uh, integrity is about uh, information which is uh, when we transmit the information uh, we want to make sure whatever is from the origin to the destination the information are, are intact are, are, are the same okay availability is that to who okay uh, so controllability is about um, so what we can uh, control about the information um, to when this information can be exposed or maybe uh, un up to what kind of level for example like uh, we can delete uh, so we can delete a file we can archive a file you know uh, so this kind of controllability all right so uh, so for example like you know, for normal files uh, as, a, as a file server we can control all this we can take ownership and things like that so this is about controllability uh, the next one is the non-repudiation. So this is actually about uh, the people cannot uh, deny where the information is sent from your source. For example, okay. So if let's say if I uh, if somebody signed the document digitally, signed the document and sent it over, and uh, and if let's say there's a legal dispute and that somebody cannot deny saying that this is not coming from me, you know. So this is actually a, a kind of a, 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 f a focus, a new f focus that we need to control because nowadays we know that information can be easily be duplicated, right? And somebody can just deny, oh, this is not from me, right? 
Okay, so next, when we talk about business, all right, so business oriented uh, information security assurance, this is from a business uh, perspective. Uh, different business have a different type of uh, traffic, okay, uh, we call it the uh, service, different service traffic, and uh, therefore there could be a different kind of uh, risk and, uh, and also different type of uh, uh, protection method. Okay, so for example, if if, uh, if a company which is dealing with uh, uh, public um, uh, transaction, like for example, e-shopping, uh, if the company is selling uh, things online, so you need to concern that that company need to concern about public security. Uh, how do you uh, ensure the uh, transaction of the uh, the payment is secure for your client? Um, as opposed to a company which dealing with, for, ex for example, uh, the um, a, a, an ordinary uh, business services like, for example, um, provide printing service and things like that. So, different kind of business they have a different kind of uh, uh, transaction traffic and they have a different type of uh, uh, risk. Okay, um, in terms of security system. Cohensive security management and technical protection, proactive defense, but not passive protection. Okay, yeah. So some of the uh, b from some of the business kind of uh, company, uh, they they need to be aware about uh, the uh, proactive defense. Okay, so what is proactive and what is passive? So passive means. Uh, we are in the uh, kind of uh, mode with, for example, like antivirus. So, for example, if uh, if if let's say we are not accepting any viruses or things like that, we we basically don't care about what's happening in the outside. Okay, uh, maybe our firewall side. But a as a protective, uh, proactive uh, defense. Okay, so sometimes when when the threat uh, is about to happen, we can actually tell. Uh, something which is about to happen, okay? It's not like something is already happened. So that is about proactive kind of defense. You need to be able to uh, to predict, right? You know, for example, like somebody tr attempt to uh, to uh, penetrate our system, then we should able to to able to tell. Uh, and also management. In terms of management point of view, uh, talent development and system establishments for security management. So. Most of the companies should have an information security team, which they are the team to develop a system and constantly monitor and to constantly upgrade to the, uh, the the security system for a company. Okay. All right. So let's talk about some case study. All right. So I think uh, the first one we will talk about is WannaCry. <laughs> okay. Uh, I like this name WannaCry because uh, if it makes people really want to cry. Um, so I think uh, a lot of us still remember in last year, in, in 2017, uh, the WannaCry ransomware uh, crypto worm propagated through Ethernet Blue infected over 100,000 of computers and causing a loss of more than 8 billion USD. Okay, this is actually a big, a big amount. Um, so um, I think um, some of you guys are probably already know about this wanna cry so uh, this is actually um, a, a kind of worm uh, which uh, affect affected the uh, uh, those uh, computer which is not patched uh, and then it will come out with this kind of uh, prompt okay and uh, so in in order for you to to remove this uh, this uh, screen you have to uh, pay the the ransom okay through the uh, cryptocurrency um, so it actually affected so many uh, different uh, area uh, from the energy uh, to the transportation all right so uh, through education industry and also government yeah this is actually a, a, a one a one of the very serious okay case study a wanna cry uh, the second one is the uh, ocean lotus okay ocean lotus so since the April uh, 2012, the Ocean Lotus Group has carried out target penetration and attacks on important sectors of China, such as the government, scientific research institute, maritime institutions, uh, maritime construction, and also the shipping enterprises. Okay, um, so this is a group of uh, 
of so-called hackers. Uh, they actually penetrate, uh, they, they target not only China, uh, and also including Southeast Asia, uh, especially the government sectors uh, like in Vietnam or, or Thailand, and etc. Cetera, et cetera. Um, so th this kind of attacks are intended to obtain confidential, uh, confidential information, intercept intelligence sent up uh, by attacking computers, and to enable the computers to automatically send related intelligent information. So this is about attacking uh, the um, uh, government kind of uh, institute or organization, and you know, in order to uh, to collect uh, intelligent information. Okay, uh, so Ocean Lotus, uh, this group of people, they are still active up to today. Yeah, so this is a kind of a uh, uh, war. Okay, this is called we call it the cyber war. It's not the uh, the physical war. All right. So um, so the next is to talk about uh, what are the cause of such kind of uh, attacks. Alright, so we know attacks happens, but uh, what could be the possible cause? Um, so if we talk about direct cause, um, it could be viruses, it could be some of the computers, or maybe some laptops where you connect to some some public uh, infrastructure, some public uh, Wi-Fi or whatever, and, uh, and affected by viruses, you know, and, uh, or maybe vulnerability about your Operating system which is not uh, up to date, not patch, uh, Trojan horses, backdoor programs. Uh, probably sometimes could be the DDoS attack. Okay, so DDoS attack is about um, a com c uh, we call it distributed denial services. This is about uh, attacking a, ca um, a certain computers or certain targets, uh, which we have massive attack, and to bring down the uh, services. Okay, so DDoS attack could be also one of the costs and uh, indirect cause it could be information system complexity okay now information complexity can be so many different areas okay um, we could have information uh, complexity about um, uh, because the uh, the design of the uh, the flow of, of a company uh, information is is so complex where Sometimes, if you want to trace where is the root cause, it's actually uh, it's a it's a hassle, okay? Uh, because of the workflow kind of uh, uh, concept, where somebody sends something, it will go through uh, to uh, to be authorized by another superior, and the superior have to authorize to by another superior, and uh, things like that. All right. So sometimes, due to this uh, process, could be uh, one of the the system which is uh, compromised. And causes the uh, uh, the, uh, the 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 attack happens. Okay, and sometimes could be due to the uh, complexity of the uh, equipment, right? So, for example, like the some of the information have to go through a uh, different kind of terminals, like for example the payment system terminals, or maybe for example like the chaos. You know, some system can be attacked through chaos, or maybe for example like in the airplane, uh, there is the entertainment system on the airplane. Uh, it, that could be also potentially uh, another uh, potential uh, entry, okay, uh, due to the uh, devices uh, issue, uh, and also finally, it could be also due to human and environmental factors, okay. Uh, so human um, are typically are very weak in terms of emotion, and <laughs> if that somebody uh, managed to um, to to uh, to weaken the emotion of the person, for example, uh, you can pretend you are like um, I, I'm just somebody to come and uh, to repair the uh, photocopy and things like that, or maybe I'm just a repairman to repair some electricity or telephone uh, cable, the lines, you know, and that could be a, a r the reason where uh, the at attacker is um, accessing to your company in the first place. Okay. Right. So, um, so what is the significance of building information security? So we talk about so many uh, the, the the problem, the cause. So now we talk about why we need to um, to build the information uh, s security. All right. So. Um <coughs> So information network has become the foundation of e 
economy prosperity social st stability and national development okay i think this is absolutely true uh, any uh, modern country which is a developed country and uh, you find that the uh, information technology is something which is cannot be uh, uh, cannot be lack of okay uh, and especially the growth of the uh, internet uh, social s stability also same thing uh, we have so many uh, social networking and uh, and the, the the news and things like that and also national development and also this is very important these are the the uh, the building blocks okay and informa informationization profoundly influence the global economic integration national strategy adjustment and also security priority so this is about the uh, uh, global economic okay so which is really true uh, information security has transformed from a technical issue into a matter in a matter of uh, national security worldwide okay so uh, okay so and also information are applicable to many technical fields uh, for example uh, c4i C4I stands for Command, Control, Communication, Computers, and Intelligence. Okay, so this is actually the system used primarily in the uh, in the military field. Okay, um, like they have a, a standard procedure, a protocol from the command uh, to control and how to communicate and how do they use the computer, all right, and all how they gather the information, the intelligence. Okay. Uh, e-commerce system okay uh, we definitely know about this yeah biomedical system and also the ITS intelligent trans transport system um, so these are actually some many things which is uh, the importance about the uh, information and uh, you know all this area required information security okay especially the yeah